you have to be honest. This show seems like one of the weirdest products that have ever been made in the history of not just comic book television, but possibly all television. And that is really saying something considering the weird shit that's come out of people's minds that's been put on a telly over the last 50 years. But it is Marvel and they have a lot of earned equity, not just with me, but pretty much everyone else. What they've been able to do for the cinematic genre of comic books is unbelievable. And they changed the game, to be honest. They're coming off of Endgame, not my favorite MCU film, not my favorite Avengers film, but still a great culmination project. And in a weird way, it is kind of only downhill from here, which sounds insane considering the heights Marvel have got to and how well their shit's done. Uh, but you know, you peak. And I can't see them up in the peak of Infinity War and Endgame and over 11 years of very, very good content creation. So it's gonna be a tough ass to be it, but they're starting with this. Hey, Narendra the comic here. Right now, we're just gonna be reacting to the first ever little clip, little teaser of WandaVision. This is going on Disney Plus. I do not have Disney Plus. At this moment in time, it doesn't really seem to be the most viable streaming option. You know, you have Amazon Prime, you have Netflix, you have BBC iPlayer, you have ITV Play, you have all these things going on. And so Disney Plus doesn't really get a look in for me. They don't have enough original content, I don't think, at this point that makes me be like, hey, I need to get it. Alternatively and realistically, in all likelihood, in about a year's time when they have a shit ton of content, I'll get it for like three months and see how it is and see whether to keep it or not. But WandaVision is the first show that they're probably gonna be putting out. I'm surprised because it seemed like Falcon and the Winter Soldier was gonna be the first Marvel show on Disney+, Plus, but they just started refilming. Maybe WandaVision has basically finished filming at this point. Loki also was supposed to come out next year, but I don't think it's gonna come out for maybe even longer now uh, because there was supposed to be one product that was coming out end of this year and that's just hit the fan. That ain't happening. So we'll see when, if they do give a release date for this. Let's get to this trailer anyway. It's gonna be weird, wacky and we we really don't know a lot. We know it's something to do with Wanda in therapy. I think that's what I read. Other than that, nothing else. So let's get to it. Let's go. All right. Black and white. They did say it was like an old sitcom type of vibe. It's twilight time. Wanda and Vision. Aren't we a five pair? This is our home now. I want us to fit in. Oh, this is gonna be a gas! Where did you two move from? How long have you been married? And why don't Very you have weird. children yet? Our story. I think what my wife means to say is that we moved from... Moved from where? Married when? Damn it, why? Oh, are there Oh, can they not it. remember? Stop or it. are they just lying? Stop it. Stop it. Oh, she just reversed and did it over again. This is really happening. He is 100% alive then. Oh, that was the classic costume. That is good CGI. Am I dead? No. Wait, he has the Mind Stone as well. Why would you think that? Because you are. Oh, that Unusual was Monica. Couple, you know? Oh, I don't think that was ever in question. <laughs> oh, coming soon, lads. You couldn't even say 2021. Like, why, why wouldn't you at least say 2021 coming in 2021? Coming soon is ridiculous. That gives you no time span on it. Uh, very, very weird. I think this is one of those classic instances that doesn't happen very often. And that is that uh, I think... Everyone has more questions after this trailer than answers. And and that's very, very confusing. So Vision is alive in this world. Is it a parallel universe or, or is it like a memory world? Is it like a memory world of Wanda that she's made up? Because the thing I did see and read a lot of articles on was that this is gonna be some weird therapy type of shit and she's gonna be making memories and reliving stuff to like form new worlds almost. So if that's the case, this kind of makes sense. I wasn't sure how I would like the like 60s, 70s vibe with the TV style. I don't love it because I never liked those types of programs. Like when you got to the 80s and 90s, these types of shows really ramped up and became really good, honestly. But the older, older stuff wasn't that interesting for me and wasn't that funny either. So 
I'm not sure how that's going to go. Elizabeth Olsen does smash it, though. She's one of those kooky weirdos. Paul Bettany as well. Bit of a freak. So I like both of them. And I think they are two very, very good characters in the MCU as Vision and as Wanda. But there's just a lot of questions. Question number one. All right. Question number one, the glaring one. Vision is obviously alive. How is he alive? Question number one. Question number two, there was a shot with them holding babies. Were they taking care of someone else's babies? Were they their babies? Can they have babies? I know in the comics, yes, they are basically demon children. They can have babies. But would they bring that element into the MCU? I am not sure they would do that. That seems a bit too far-fetched. So what the hell are these babies? What is going on? You know, what type of upgrade did Vision get here? You know, I don't know what iOS upgrade he got, but he got something if there, there are babies being produced. Monica Rambeau, I read she was in it as well. She obviously got pushed through some type of portal. How important is she to all of this? Is she actually important at all? Because the theory I talked to someone about was specifically about superhero interactions with regular people. And maybe this therapist is someone who specializes with the government, maybe, or with an evil corporation in this particular thing, which is apparently why Kat Dennings is in the story, as well as Monica Rambeau, because she met bloody Captain Marvel and Kat Dennings' character. What was her name? I can't remember. I can't remember. She was pretty annoying. Mew Mew and all that. Uh, she met Thor and was with Thor. And Wanda obviously was with, was with all the was with all the Avengers. So maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I'm pulling on absolute strings here. I don't know who the villain is. It seemed like there was some government agency taking up uh, Monica at the end there. If that was indeed uh, Monica Rambo. So it looks weird. We expected weird. We expected interesting. Both of those things. I think out of the three shows, this is my least wanted show out of them. You know, out of. Uh, Falcon, Winter Soldier, Loki, and WandaVision, I would order them in that. Loki and Falcon and Winter Soldier on the same level, and then this slightly under. And I think it's solely because of this weird premise. I'm all for weird. I love weird. I love alternative shit. But this just seems way too far out of left field. So they can convince me. They can definitely convince me on it. But I'm not feeling it right now at this moment to be like a 9, 10 out of 10 show. I think it's going to be like a 7 or 8, which is still good. Still very watchable, maybe rewatchable, but I think Loki is going to be next level good. I hope so if they actually get Tom Hiddleston for the whole season. And don't cop out by only having him in one or two episodes. That would be very, very annoying and it would immediately uh, destroy that show for me. Not good. The only reason people want a Loki show is because Tom Hiddleston kills it in that role. So how you can think you can trade out Tom Hiddleston in that role for most of the season. If that is the case, I'm not liking it. Falcon and the Winter Soldier seems interesting. Seems like there's going to be a lot of shit going on in that one. And that one will have very big ramifications for the human world of the MCU. This one, much more than fantastical shit. Apparently, it's tying into Doctor Strange. And if you don't know, Doctor Strange, one of my favorite characters in all of comics. So this could be very, very good. It could, it could be very, very bad. But I'm leaning on the good side for this one. Anyway, guys... If you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then the Scarlet Witch herself will come after you. Maybe in this show, they'll actually call her Scarlet Witch for the first time. They're always calling her Wanda. This show's called WandaVision, so there's no Scarlet Witch involved. She was in a costume, though. Vision was in his classic costume as well. So maybe, just maybe, we're going to get some Scarlet Witch action here. That could be reality-bending, mind-bending shit. You don't want that. You really don't. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been Narendra of the Comic. You've been great. I'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, make a video every single day. Been doing it for over two years now. We ain't stopping till we get to 10,000 subscribers. So do subscribe. Come back again tomorrow for some more quality shitty content. Because we're hashtag never, ever, never, ever. Never not here. So uh, do indeed pop back tomorrow. See what's going on. You might like it. You might not. But there will be something here to tickle your fancy, tickle your taste buds. And you might as well give it a shot, right? So, so boys, subscribe. See you tomorrow. I'll be here with some more bakwas because I bring the bakwas every day. If you don't know, bakwas means nonsense in Punjabi. And I am full of that shit. I'm full of it. See you tomorrow. Skadoosh.